Utah Unified School District is, uh, is, is an amazing district that does amazing things for students. Um, and uh, really proud of the work that we do foundationally in, in our early education to our transition middle school and especially and we're sitting here at the high school right now um, the different programs we have in place to meet the differing needs and the last bond that was passed in uh, Lake Tahoe Unified was in 2008 and much of the facilities here at the high school were the focus of that um, whether that be our shop classrooms, our, our technology environments, our performing arts, and some others. Um, so the school, this school has really had some, has some top-notch facilities from that 2008 bond that help us uh, meet the needs of our diverse student population here. But we have schools across the district that were built 50, 60, 70 years ago that are really in dire need of, uh, of updating, updating for roofs and siding and, and uh, entryways uh, into the classroom spaces, um, updating for safety components. Um, so there, there, there's a dire need across our district to, to update our facilities. How we want students to actually show up in, the, in school, we need to actually create environments where they feel welcome um, and want to learn. And when you redo schools, which this school was, this whole wing was basically completely redone two years ago, repainted new floors, uh, and then redoing the furniture was a big game changer for the students because they actually felt like they, they mattered. If investments aren't made, it makes it makes it very difficult. Kids um, stop coming to school. You know, if the if we can't heat the the school, um, you know, we won't be able to provide school. You know, if if roofs are collapsing, um, it, we end up losing more days. And and two winters ago, you know, we had situations where classrooms had to be closed. We had to relocate students. And there's not uh, if kids don't feel like we're taking care of the buildings they're not going to bother coming, they don't, they're not going to feel cared for. We have seen the really positive impact that um, purpose-built educational rooms have had on our membership. They love doing homework when it is in a conducive environment. They love doing STEM when they can move about the room and they can be active and hands-on and engaged. Improving our facilities will raise the education level in this community just by having purpose-built spaces. It will also be a more positive environment for our teachers to be in. They will also find their jobs easier as the children are more engaged and the environment is more supportive to learning. We could potentially improve the lives of generations of children because whilst superintendents will come and go, principals will come and go, CEOs of boys and girls clubs will come and go, our facilities are with us for generations.